Alright, so in this episode, we're going to teach you how to animate an object along a path. And then we're also going to add some flames uh, some, some flames coming out the back here. Um, that's a pretty simple process, but uh, if you go ahead and turn on the shape layer, you can actually see the path that it's animating along. Alright, so let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new composition. You can either do it through here, this little icon right here, or composition, new composition. And we're gonna call this one main. Doop. All right, 1920, 1080, 30 frames per second. Uh, we'll make this, we'll make this 10 seconds long. All right, hit OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a black solid for a background. You can right click down here, go to new, yeah, solid. All right, so this is going to be a black solid. We're going to call this background or BG. Going to make sure it's the same size as the comp. If you want to do that quickly, just make comp size. All right, so it's black. We're going to hit OK. Now we're going to duplicate that by hitting Command D. All right, so we're going to hit Shift Command Y on the Mac to bring up the solid settings. We're going to change this to white and hit OK. So now we're going to go over to our effects and presets and we're just going to set up some stars here, actually. We're going to rename this, so you can click on it, hit enter, and we're going to type in stars. All right, so under effects and presets, we're going to type in star burst. CC star burst, here we go. Add that on top of our stars. Just kind of, kind of quickly doing this change the speed to zero because we don't want it to move otherwise they'll uh, move like that undo that grid spacing maybe turn that down to like three I don't know whatever you want to do to make it look good whatever you think looks good that's fine all right so this is the background what we're gonna do is just select both of these shift command C to pre-compose it and we're going to call this background stars there we go all right so here under assets we have this png called shuttle we're going to drop that down on top there all right so now that we have our shuttle in here what we're going to do real quick is just hit r and rotate this 90 degrees just so it's facing this way so now we're going to add our path so make sure nothing is selected. Go up to our pen tool, or you can hit G. So I'm going to create the path here. Now we're going to come out over on the right. Go down to about there. All right, let's not get too distracted on making it perfect. Just kind of come up over here. Back down around here. And make this last one come off here. To the right. Fix these up a little bit. All right, yeah, that's fine. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our shape layer. We're going to twirl this open. Go to Contents, Shape 1, Path 1, and select our path. Now what we're going to do is hit Command-C to copy it. All right. And then we're going to go to our shuttle, press P, click on the position, and then hit Command-V to paste those points. Now we can make the shape layer invisible. There we go. We can hit U on the keyboard after we click on our shuttle, and that'll bring up the keyframes. 
and go to this last one here. Hit V on the keyboard. Make sure you're in your move tool. You can just kind of bring that over. Now, if you play this back, it's a little too fast. So we can take this last keyframe here, click and drag, and just kind of move it. And all the other points will move along with it. So, I mean, that's a little better. Let's go over to here. We can press N to shorten the comp just after the last keyframe so it can loop. All right. Now it looks funny. So what we can do to fix this, we can right click on the shuttle, go to transform, auto orient, and select orient along path. Now when we play this back, you can see that it's actually rotating in the direction that it's moving. Pretty nifty. And I guess what we can do here is hit S on the keyboard to scale it down just a little bit here. And then what we can also do is with the shuttle selected, we can hit Shift Command C and we're going to pre-compose it. Okay, we're going to make sure leave all attributes is selected and we're going to call this shuttle comp. All right, hit OK. Now we still have our keyframes in this comp. When we go into here, now we just have our shuttle. All right, so what we're going to do is go to composition, composition settings. And we're going to change the height from 700 or whatever yours is. Uh, I'm going to make it 850. Hit OK. We can select our shuttle. Click on it and hold Shift while moving upwards to move it in one direction here. Move that just to the edge. We can actually go to fit up to 100%. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a solid. So new, solid, doesn't matter what color. We're going to call this flames. Make sure it's the comp size. Hit OK. And on top of that, we're going to add CC Particle World. There we go. So we're going to move the emitter over here to line up with our rockets, maybe change the longevity, something like that. Uh, physics, we can go to physics and maybe change the gravity, up the gravity a bit. Longevity, kind of play with that, make sure it's still in the comp here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to move this below our shuttle. We're going to take our particle world and we're going to duplicate it. So command D and we're going to take the second one and we're going to move this over to the right. Move it up a little bit up. There we go. All right. So you notice the other one disappeared. It's still there. So we need to go into extras and composite with original. There you go. So now what we can do, I've used this technique a whole bunch of times. We can just kind of twirl these closed. And we can add a fast box blur. Okay. So add the fast box blur on top. You know, bring up the radius a bit. All right. And then on top of that, we're going to add a levels. So it's under color correction, levels. We're gonna, where it says channel, RGB, we're gonna change it to alpha. And we're just gonna crunch it in just a little bit. Just like that. Maybe lower the blur radius. Yeah, 
That looks good. There we go. We have our flames. We can actually um, turn up the longevity now, too. Bring open the second one. Longevity, like that. There we go. Now we have our stupid little rockets going. So what we can do is duplicate our flames layer. Move that above the shuttle. And we can add another fast box blur. So we can actually just duplicate the one that we have already. Move that below our levels. And just kind of bump that up just a little bit. All right. So now what we can do is go to toggle switches and modes or F4. And we're going to change the blending mode to add. We can just add a little curves onto our shuttle here and just darken it a bit. It kind of matches the background now. All right. So there's our rocket complete with flames. Uh, so another thing we can actually do is over here in this first column here, this is the motion blur. We can just turn on motion blur and go up to composition, composition settings, go to advanced and yeah, maybe change this to 90, negative 90. I like the combination. So now you just have a little bit of a motion blur to go along with it. And yeah, and that's it. Um, if you guys found this helpful at all, uh, be sure to check out our other tutorials and come back every Monday where we'll be doing short little bits like this. And every Wednesday we got a longer one, usually runs about 20 to 45 minutes long, pretty much however long it needs to be. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Wee. Thank you.